In this demonstration, we'll be using roller tamer tools and adapters with an old style second generation Toro roller. This roller has the rotary ball bearings with a rotary seal and a stationary seal held in place with a snap ring. If you don't plan on reusing the shaft, simply drill a hole in the side of the shaft. If plans are to reuse the shaft, then you'll need to drill and tap the end of the shaft so you can pull out the bearing seals and shaft using this adapter. The first step is to remove the snap ring. Drill and tap the end of this shaft so it will accept a 3 8 fine thread adapter, part number RT165, to remove the shaft, bearings, and seal. This adapter allows you to use the bearing and seal installation tool, part number RT112. With this adapter, the same tool that is used to install the bearings and seals on the new style or third gen Toro rollers can also be used in the same manner with the older style Gen 2 Toro rollers. A couple of methods to drill and tap. You could freehand drill and tap using a 21 64th drill bit and a 3 8 24 fine thread tap. To make it easier, you could use a guide. Just slip it on and tighten the collar. This will guide the drill perfectly straight. Then remove this outer tap and use the larger hole to guide your tap perfectly straight. Remember, you'll need a tap with a 3 8 diameter shank. Drill and tap one end of the shaft when removing the shaft and bearing. Or if you decide to reuse the shaft, then drill and tap both ends so you can install the bearings using these tools. Another option for you if you're not going to reuse the shaft and you just want to remove it without using a hammer or a press, you could drill a cross drill hole and use the water pump bearing puller with a pin. This method may be a better option if you don't have access to the correct size drill and tap. Alright, moving on. Thread on the RT155 adapter. Make certain the puller bridge is locked down. Thread in the jacking screw. Drop in the standoff and begin ratcheting the jacking screw, which will pull out the bearings and seals much easier than using a hammer. Using other methods also increases the risk of the end caps coming off. Swap ends with the roller and slip the shaft back in from the other end. Now, if this bearing were to come apart and leave the outer race, use the puller collet to expand it inside the inner groove of the race and pull it out. Next, install the new bearing. Whether you're reusing an old shaft or even if you're installing a new shaft, it's best to drill and tap each end of the shaft so the threaded adapters can be used. Thread the installation tools on, one on each end. Tighten until the bearings are fully seated. Use two one and a quarter inch opened end wrenches. Press this one on the frame, then you can tighten the other end and both bearings will be pressed in at the same time. This process is very similar to the way the new Toro rollers are rebuilt. The main difference is these threaded adapters were used after the ends of the shaft were drilled and tapped at the beginning of this procedure. These are the same threaded adapters that are used for true turf roller bearing installations. Screw in this adapter, or you could speed up the process by using an Allen socket with an impact wrench. Now the rotary seal needs to be pressed onto the shaft. Use the washers that come with the rebuild kit for the third gen Toro roller and place them next to the rotary seal. Put the adapters back on along with the installation tools on each end and then tighten until the components are pressed onto the ends of the shaft securely. It doesn't take much force and can usually be done by hand. If a threaded adapter has gotten too tight, you may need to remove it using an impact wrench. Don't forget to remove the washer. When installing the end cap, notice they have a small seal inside with a metal retainer. They can be driven into place with a socket. Next, reinstall the retaining ring. Now that the ends have been drilled and tapped with 3 8 fine thread, the proper size 3 8 grease fittings will need to be used, replacing the old ones. 
Just to summarize, the key to rebuilding this type of roller is with these adapters along with drilling and tapping each end of the shaft. These adapters allow you to pull out the shaft and bearings as well as pressing in the bearings and inner rotating seal very easily. All of the roller tamer tools used in this demonstration are available from Turf Pride. Seal and bearing kits for all makes and models of rollers as well as real units are also available from Turf Pride. <laughs>